So in this video, i-discuss naman natin ang reference angle. So mamaya, madi-discuss natin ang definition ng reference angle sa pamamagitan ng mga examples natin. But let's start with a Cartesian plane. So ang Cartesian plane ay binubuo ng x and y axis at siya ay binubuo ng four quadrants. The quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. In terms naman sa kanyang angle, nag start ang 0 degree sa ating positive x-axis. Then, 90 degrees dito sa ating positive y-axis, 180 dito sa negative x-axis, 270 dito sa negative y-axis, and 360 dun sa ating positive x-axis. That is the one revolution. Therefore, sa quadrant 1 natin, ang range ng ating angle ay from 1 to 89. Sa quadrant 2 naman, that is from 91 to 179. Sa quadrant 3, that is from 181 to 269. And sa ating quadrant 4, that starts from 271 to 359. Now, these are the formulas in identifying or getting the reference angle. So, to know the reference angle, in quadrant 1, the reference angle is also the angle in quadrant 1. Okay? In quadrant 2, the reference angle is 180 degrees minus the given angle in quadrant 2. So, this is in symbol, 180 minus uh, angle in quadrant 2. In quadrant 3, the reference angle is the angle in quadrant 3 minus 180. And in quadrant 4, that is 360 minus the angle in quadrant 4. So later, we will be applying this in our examples. So let's start with example number 1. What is the reference angle of 200? 10 degrees. So, show your answer graphically. So, graph muna natin. Ang 210 degrees is this. So, the initial side is in positive x-axis and the terminal side is within the third quadrant. So, that is our 210 degrees. So, in quadrant 3, the reference angle is quadrant 3 or the, the angle in quadrant 3 minus 180. 80. So, here is the formula. So, let's just substitute. Since our angle measures 210, so we have 210 minus 180. So, the reference angle is 30. So, saan natin makikita ang 30 degrees na reference angle? So, ito siya. So, nandun siya sa ating in between the negative y-axis and the terminal side of our given angle. So, here is the 30 degrees. So, from here, how are we going to identify or define the reference angle? So, it is always the angle between the hypotenuse. So, since we have this terminal side and we have the y or positive x-axis here, so, we create our right triangle. Okay? So, the reference angle here is always the angle between the hypotenuse. Here is our hypotenuse of the triangle and the x-axis. Okay? That is the reference angle. So, lagi siyang nandoon sa gitna ng x-axis at ng terminal side or the hypotenuse. Next example. What is the reference angle of 314 degrees? So again, show your answer graphically. So here is our graph for 314 degrees. So as we can see, the terminal side is in the quadrant 4. Therefore, we're going to use this formula. So to get the reference angle, we need to use 360 minus the angle in quadrant 4. So, that is the formula. So, here's the formula. So, 360 minus 314. So, the reference angle is 46 degrees. So, sa graph, ito siya. 
Okay? So, the reference angle is 46. That is between the x-axis and the hypotenuse. Now, what if the given is negative degrees? For example, what is the reference angle of negative 170 degrees? Again, you're going to show your answer graphically. So let's start with our graph. This is the graph of negative 170 degrees. Okay, so paano natin uumpisahan ang pagkuha ng kanyang reference angle? So, eto kapag negative ang given, find the smallest positive coterminal angle. So, na-discuss na natin ang pagkuha ng coterminal angle sa previous video. Ilalagay ko na lang yung link sa ating description box. Then, after that, identify the reference angle. So, paano nga ba kinukuha ang coterminal angle? So, kapag positive, we're going to add 360 doon sa given. So, we have negative 170 degrees plus 360 equals 190. That is the smallest positive coterminal angle. Okay? So, tulad lang sila ng initial side at ng terminal side ng negative 170. So, same lang sila ng 190. Now, how are we going to find the reference angle? Here's the formula. Uh, the reference angle is equal to the angle in quadrant 3 minus 180. So, isa substitute natin yung, yung given natin. Hindi na siya negative 170, but we're going to replace it ng 190. So, we have 190 minus 180. That is equivalent to 10. That is our reference angle, 10 degrees. So, sa natin makikita ang 10 degrees natin? That is here, in between the x-axis and the hypotenuse. Okay, next example. Now, what if our given is beyond or greater than 360 degrees? So, what is the reference angle of 500 degrees? Show your answer graphically. So, here, uh, if the given is beyond 360, find the smallest positive coterminal angle that is within 0 to 360. So, kagaya lang ng ginawa natin sa previous example natin. So, here, if we're going to subtract 360 to our given, which is 500, we will have 140. So, we can use 140 because that is a coterminal angle of our 500 degrees. So, here's the 140 degrees in graph. Then, we're going to use this formula. The reference angle is 180 minus the angle in quadrant 2 because the terminal side is within the quadrant 2. So, here, we're going to use the 140 because that is the coterminal angle. 180 minus 140, that is 40 degrees. So, 40 degrees is found between the x-axis and the hypotenuse. And this is the end of this video. I hope that you have learned uh, something from here. And if you do, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. God bless you.